Welcome back to the show. A new segment we're really excited about is Covered Bridge on TV8. And so we've got Bobby, Kim, and Danielle joining me on the couch to chat about this wonderful collaboration. Thank you guys so much for being here. Absolutely. Thank Thanks for having us. We're really excited about any collaborations that we get to do here at TV8. So let's talk a little bit about TV8's goal. And you are our wonderful fearless <laughs> leader here at TV8. So anytime Danielle gets to sit on the couch with us is a great time. Thank you for having me, Maddie. <laughs> Um, so TV8, as you know, we purchased the station two years ago this month. Yes. Time flies when we're having fun, right? <laughs> um, from Vail Resorts. And, you know, our goal over the last two years has really been to make it more of a community television station. And I think that we're accomplishing that goal, you know, not only here on Good Morning Vail, um, by bringing in a lot of the local businesses and um, local leaders, but also with other shows that we're doing, like Good Day Vale and um, the scoreboard and, and all those fun things. And, you know, we've talked recently about new things to come, you know, new entertainment segments and, and, uh, and such. And so um, I'm always looking for ways to kind of engage the community in what we're doing. And that's why I'm so excited about uh, this new collaboration. Which then we're going to focus on you guys because the Covered Bridge has been around for quite some time and people who have picked it up, seen it, read it, know that you guys really dive deep into our community. You come with us or come at us with some heavy hitting stuff. And so let's talk about Covered Bridge magazine, what your goal is and what you're looking forward to in this collaboration. Mm. Yeah, so Covered Bridge is a biannual, well, it would be semi-annual. Correct. It's hard to keep yeah. track. Um, so yeah, Jump Media Collective, we're, at, we're out of Westvale, and we have three magazines. Uh, one of them is quarterly, and Covered Bridge is semi-annual. And so we come out with a print publication twice a year that's it's beautiful, it's, it's very dynamic, and we have a lot of wonderful stories, investigative, and lifestyle journalism that we love to highlight in print and online. And so um, the opportunity to work with TV8 has been really exciting for us. Um, we we're again also like, very community minded and hoping to elevate our media companies together and continue to to create wonderful storytelling and get that out in different ways like video with TV8. Yeah, I think uh, Covered Bridge, like you, you said, it, it really is a, a, a passion project that we've created for a place that we love and call home. And there's so many businesses here. There's so many unique people doing some really creative things uh, in our valley and we just have a great opportunity to get to tell their stories mm -hmm. so when TV8 came up and, and presented the idea of potentially collaborating together on, on a, a ways that we can support businesses and the valley together it was a perfect match uh, mm -hmm. watching your show constantly really inspired us to, to come check it out and then we, we actually filmed the segment once with you and yes mm -hmm. then it was uh, I don't know the relationship just blossomed and we're, we're excited to, to explore it and excited to continue it on so as we're talking about this collaboration and viewers are watching, wondering what's next for the collaboration? What can they expect to see from our two wonderful entities combining forces? Yeah, I think... Um, or I should say collaborating forces. <laughs> I think that, um, you know, as a company, Deerfield Media has always been very engaged in like multimedia journalism and how we can make that work for not only our viewers, but for our clients. Um, and so our kind of first step in that forte together is um, a nice uh, segment where we're gonna be highlighting some of the um, covered bridged articles um, from the magazine, bringing those people in the studio or meeting them where they are um, and bringing those to light through video as well. So that not only can you read about it in the magazine, you can also see it in video form. Which I think is one of those things that captivates the audience because mm -hmm. when you read something, you get to kind of make your own voice. And I know I'm an avid like reader of books and I always create the characters in my brain. So it's really cool to have you guys give these people the opportunity to use their voices in the written word and then come on and share their stories in the verbal word as well. And so what are you guys most looking forward to in this collaboration? I just think the layers of uh, journalism like this can be endless. You, you know, these stories um, are, are they're beautiful when they're in print. They're beautiful online for through our magazines um, and through Covered Bridge with the photos that we get to to showcase. Local photographers, amazing storytellers, writers, journalists, as well as community members. 
Um, and so being able to add this layer and this depth and going back to revisit the articles and talk to the sources, talk to you know, who we're highlighting, uh, whether it's going to be you know, a writer interviewing or Bobby and or I interviewing, the, you know, there's so many different ways that we can highlight these stories. So I just think adding to the depth of the narrative is, is the most ex exciting part for me. Yeah, I think it's pretty unique that like you brought it up, bringing a story from paper to life. Right. right, and we wouldn't have that opportunity without Deerfield Media and TV8 uh, presenting that opportunity to us. There's another unique part of it. It's not just the stories. You know, Danielle and I work with a lot of businesses here. Yes. Um, so we can now make a business's print ad come to life in your kitchen over there and cook a recipe here, or take um, TV8 to their business and, and show the reader what their business actually looks like so they can experience it without even walking in and then know that they want to go walk in. So was, there's multiple layers there. That was my next question. What is the benefit of people joining Covered Bridge, Ma Covered Bridge Magazine as an advertiser, but then coming to us, turning it into video, because it reaches such a broader audience that way? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think um, you know, savvy businesses at this point know that they really do need to be kind of dabbling in multiple yes. different types of media mm -hmm. to get their message out. because. Our viewers may not be the same as the as the readers uh, of Covered Bridge, and so if you're doing something with both of us, then you're kind of capturing both of those audiences. Mm -hmm. Which I think is such a powerful way for businesses to make their voices heard, and especially because we're known as this tight-knit, very caring community, but as we're starting to see more people make their way here, and as we're starting to see more businesses develop, you have to get your voice out there in many different forms. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and so, um, with this collaboration, we'll be able to do that. And so certainly advertisers can continue to still buy from Covered Bridge, a space, or still buy from TV8. Or if you're looking for a multimedia approach, then we can offer you our collaboration and be able to do things together. Now, if a business is looking towards that multimedia approach, what's the best way for them to get in contact so that they are making their way through the steps and they're doing it appropriately? I think they can either reach out to Bobby or myself. Yeah, and I think it's really up to us to, to let people know that this collaboration is happening, right? So the more Danielle and I get to celebrate businesses through working with them, we can actually communicate that, that this is a possibility for them. And, and why not, right? Like that to me is the thing, like you mentioned, our valley is so tight-knit and each business serves a piece and each business serves somebody in our community. But not everyone knows they exist. Not everyone knows where to find them. Some people actually don't even know the resource, like I said, is available. So this is a great way to, to, to reach them in every single level, every outlet of media. Now, we know that you can find TV8's Good Morning Vale or any of our other great programs on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92 or on our website at tv8vale.com. But if people are interested in getting their hands on the Covered Bridge magazine, where can they find it? Oh, gosh. I hope it's everywhere. <laughs> uh, but we're, we're doing our best with distribution. In the town, uh, the valley itself, multiple locations. M many businesses will have them. If you're in Vale Village, all the boxes are available there. It's a free publication, believe it or not, uh, but you can actually subscribe to it. You know, there, that's a great way. If you don't live in Vale, you're not walking through the village, you can grab it. But Covered Bridge is in 500 plus locations currently in, in the state of Colorado. Um, so if you're in Denver, you'll, you'll probably stumble across Covered Bridge somewhere. Boulder, Loma, Colorado. I mean, we're, we're spread out a lot. But hubbed in the valley, hopefully you walk into your favorite local coffee shop and it's sitting right there on the counter for you. Mm. We also have CoveredBridgeVale.com. So online, we put all of our articles online and we'll be excited to embed some video um, mm. on certain articles that we work with you all on. It's all so exciting and I love when we see like incredible teams come together and merge to just make it that much greater. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to chat with us, giving us all this great information. I cannot wait to see what this collaboration brings for us and for you guys. Thanks, Maddie. Thank you, Maddie. Make sure that you continue to watch TV8's Good Morning Vale. That way you can see Covered Bridge on TV8. And make sure that you stop by any one of your favorite coffee shops or any place where you could find the Covered Bridge magazine and you get your hands on it because some of the articles are so moving. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we've got more of the show, so stay tuned. <laughs>